Welcome to the Sports Card Talk Show. To the Sports Card Talk the Show. Sports Card Talk Show with Kevin Anderson and Lauren Walker, the, the Skull, Skull Brothers. Brothers. Welcome to episode 157 of the Sports Card Talk Show. Uh, we got Wednesday Wows tonight. Yeah, today we are doing uh, Kyle Rudolph. We've uh, he's gotten a few mentions the last uh, <laughs> few weeks, and uh, it was time. It was, it was time. time. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the funny thing is, is uh, I honestly don't really chase after Kyle Rudolph cards that hard. And sure, you're gonna have to just kind of keep chatting because. We just dove into it, and we have nothing set up. Okay. <laughs> so, so just keep talking about yeah, Kyle yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, anyway, so when I went when I went to um, uh, go through my Kyle Rudolphs, I was like really worried that I wasn't going to come up with uh, it was going to be a short one, but I actually had to whittle out a few cards. So um, <laughs> yeah, you were saying that. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, I ended up. Um, racking up enough to do yeah you were like well i have got a kyle rudolph that i can maybe add to the wow and i'm and then you you brought it over i'm like yeah dude that don't make the cut (laughs) (laughs) um yeah anyway um i've never been a uh humongous uh fan of kyle's i've always been uh a little down on what he doesn't do and um and uh you know i've refocused and and when it comes to uh when it comes to collecting cards and being a fan of of your favorite team and and the players on it i started really looking at what kyle does do well and you know he's he's our i I believe the vikings uh longest tenured player at this point now that uh everson's not on the team anymore uh, Kyle is just uh, – he catches everything he that comes his way pretty much. One-handed, guys draped all over him. I always was upset with the fact that usually he doesn't get any yards after catch. Mm-hmm. It seems like he, for such a big guy that he goes down really easy. But I just look at – I look at the fact that he catches what's thrown his way. And he's had some just right. monster touchdowns for us the last couple of years. Including the you know the the winning game the winning touchdown in last year's playoff game against the Saints, and then off the field he's just a you know a treasure in the community oh, down, in, sure. down in the cities yep. with his uh, Masonic uh, Children's Hospital yep. wing that he has down there, you know and and yeah he just a, he's just a wonderful human being. On, on top of being just a great football player for my favorite team. So. <laughs> right, right. Well, let's show us some cards, man. I, I managed to get it together. Yeah. You kept the conversation going. Yeah. So anyway, this is a, a Bowman foil, and I believe this is from 2015. I hate it when I don't look up. Most of these are from his rookie year, but uh, super nice, shiny card. Uh, and that's number out of 50, number 50 out of 50. Mm-hmm. And I really always, you know, when the Vikings uh, are, uh, I just think it lo- that card looks really nice with the, the gold around it the purple uniform. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So this next one is uh, from uh, Prison Football. And this is called, uh, I think, Red Ice. Wait. I just had to look at the serial number on that one. Maybe it isn't red ice. Is that an icy card? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and that one's numbered out of 75, and that's number 75 out of 75. <laughs> I always, you know, these cards look really cool, but when you put them in that light box, they, they definitely pop a little bit even more. Oh, for sure. Um, it's funny, the last video that we were doing this, I said it'd probably be easier if you just sit say when they're not ebay 101s and a couple people agreed (laughs) oh yeah yeah i know but you gotta know whether i mean those are both actually the bookends yeah which i don't have a lot of ebay 101s of kyle so um normally i don't show the bookend i usually show the 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 one or whatever which in in this case this is (laughs) the one this is a one out of 25 out of extra points out of 2000 
16 prestige. And if you're new to the channel, I am the king of the eBay 101 idiots. <laughs> so, um, if your title he wears probably. Yes, I do. And um, if you guys uh, aren't new to the channel and you watch, obviously you know how much I love my eBay 101s. <laughs> this is actually from his rookie year. This is a uh, Topps Prime. This one's super short printed out of four ninety nine, <laughs> number eighty two out of four ninety nine. And you know these guys that wear those high number jerseys, the eighty, you know, obviously eighty two for Kyle. Mm -hmm. You need to have a big serial number on that card yeah. to be able to get it to get a jersey <laughs> number card of theirs. <laughs> this is a uh, score. Gold Zone. Oh, nice. 2016. This one's numbered out of 99. And it's, again, the number 82 out of 99. <laughs> yeah, something about it with that gold around it. So mm -hmm. Just sharp looking. This is uh, Rookies and Stars. And it's called Studio Rookies. And it's got a little... A piece of jersey in there it's a rookie from his rookie year so i'm assuming it's just player worn event worn so probably like the rookie oh sure rookie deal that they do but this is numbered out of 50 and that's a number one out of 50 <laughs> that's before kyle started uh getting his arms all tatted up yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> At least he's got one full sleeve of tats on the one arm. Yeah, yep. This is uh, from Totally Certified. And it is numbered uh, 49 out of 49. Got a really sweet looking uh, three color patch on that card. That is awesome. It's another one of those that looks really nice under the light. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I think we've shown off a few of these certified cards. Uh, yeah, where they where the edges are kind of got yep. that that silver spindle thing going on or whatever. Yeah, this is one of my all time favorite cards, just because you know that I love love the Crown Royal. Yep, and that uh, pinkish purple color on that card. That's uh, numbered uh, out of twenty five. The number one out of 25. I actually do have quite a few eBay 101s. I'm not having many. Jeez. <laughs> that should just give you an idea of how many eBay 101s I do have of some players. <laughs> right. <laughs> this one's actually not an eBay 101. I'm supposed to mention that, right? <laughs> when yeah. It's not an eBay yeah, 101. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is uh, out of Topps Platinum. I really miss the Topps products. Uh, this is numbered out of 199, number four out of 199. I really love that big chunky three color patch on that card. Yeah, that's great looking. This is absolute. This one's actually really a pretty short printed card out of 25, number seven out of 25. Again, another, you know, three color patch, uh, short printed. I think that's why I decided to show this card off. Yeah. That's really nice. So this is out of certified and it's a uh, fre freshman fabric. That's a little hard to say. <laughs> yep. This is also short printed out of 25. It's number 22 out of 25. This is where we're getting into the into my non eBay 101s. Super cool. Yeah, card. That is nice. I think we always say we really like certified. Mm hmm. Kind of like our, uh, and then you see a few of them, you're like, yeah, I like that. I want that one. I yeah, like that yeah. One too. Yeah. I mean, I never really thought much of certified until um we had cheddar bob on our on the show 
a few months oh, back. Oh, yeah. And, and he said certified was one of his favorite rips. And um, then I started noticing, wow, I do like certified. Yeah. Yeah. I, you just don't think of certified as being, you know, uh, want uh, a, pro a product that you want. You just so happen to end up getting a bunch of their cards and going, wow, I do like, because you buy what you like. Yep. And then you notice you, you got a bunch of them. This is from back in the day when uh, Upper Deck was in the game. Oh, I, yeah. I love this card. Uh, actually, really short printed out of six ninety nine. this one. <laughs> 242 out of. And that is an on-card auto, a three-color patch. Wow. Uh, that goes out to all you Golden Domers out there that love the Fighting Irish. Uh, yeah. Super cool card. You know, and I always thought that Kyle had some uh, collectability because he became because he come from the from the Fighting Irish. But I've seen some other guys that are Fighting Irish um, come from the Fighting Irish, and the cards don't do well like Kyle. So Kyle's got Kyle's got a pretty good strong fan base. Oh yeah. Uh, this one. Oh wow. This card is like a, a die cut. It's number 10 out of 20. This is from Leaf Draft, which is cool about Leaf Draft or, you know, Leaf Draft can't use the uh, team logos on cards. Yeah. And fortunately, they don't have any team logos on their helmets. <laughs> <laughs> so that looks like a legit, uh, yeah. legitimate card there. <laughs> and that's numbered out of 20, number 10 out of 20. Yeah. What's funny is like when I pick that up, it's in a, in a, uh, a mag there and because the cards die cut it was like sliding back and forth which kind of freaked me out there for a second <laughs> i saw you hesitate you're like um <laughs> yeah i'm like is this mag way too big or like <laughs> <clears throat> this again is uh i just love tops and i wish tops was still making football cards that's a uh i'm gonna see if this is actually it's not but that's a silver Silver tops, chrome, and there's Kyle making a one-handed grab. I was going to say one-handed grab during practice or something. <laughs> this is just a super cool card. It is, and this is another kind of flagship, like uh, a brand. Obviously, the contenders. I think this is on card too. It looks like it, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I was if trying to look at the angle there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so a contenders, yeah, like contenders rookie ticket there. So I had to show off those couple cards because I, I just feel like uh, your collection isn't complete without a, a <laughs> tops or a, a, yep. a, a contenders ticket rookie of a guy. Yep. This is, uh, I want to say this is limited. Yeah, it's yeah. limited. This is a super cool card, uh, numbered out of 299, 193 out of 299, but it's got a uh, the Vikings uh, yeah. cut out there with a three color patch running across the bottom of it. That's crazy. That's out of 299. Yeah, I know. It's so cool looking. <clears throat> On card, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, you. I've seen these with one colors going across it. So I had to when I when I wanted one of these, I definitely wanted one with a bunch of color in the patch. Yeah, this is again another. This is gold standard, which I think we'll be dropping our our video for our build a box challenge against. So. Yeah, this coming weekend, I think. Yeah. Um. Oh shoot. Sean, Sean at Fairweather Cards. Yeah. Uh, th this is, I love this card. It's got a, a three color patch, barely white on both sides, but. Uh, oh, yeah. I think the reason why I picked this one over another one is because this is numbered 482 out of 499. <laughs> so it's kind of got his jersey number in the back of that. I, I don't count that as an eBay 101, but. <laughs> You're going to bring it up, though. And now, and now, look at this. This is a 2011 gold standard. They got that nice silver ink on card. Yep. And probably gold standard back in those days was probably a lot 
cheaper uh, box of cards than it is nowadays. And now yeah. you you get it with uh, sticker dump. sticker autos. Yeah. This next one is actually the card I almost showed off during the Harrison Smith. Um, oh yeah. Wednesday while <laughs> I thought this was a uh, Harrison Smith uh, card because he's also a Golden Domer. This is a uh, Saturday swatches. This is a press pass card. And uh, it's numbered out of 99, number one out of 99. That's a really sharp looking card. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I had it in my hand and was ready to hand it to you when I realized it, was, it wasn't was a Harrison Smith card. <laughs> At least we didn't show it. Yeah. As a Harrison Smith card. This is National Treasures. This one is numbered uh, out of 49. It's got a couple three-color patch. This is in the windows and a football in one. It's numbered out of 49, number one out of 49. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, to me, that does, like I honestly didn't think that was a National Treasures card. I was actually surprised when I looked at it just now because it doesn't look like, you know, what National Treasure cards usually look like. Right. This one's from an Absolute again. I feel like we showed an Absolute card once before today. This one's numbered out of 25. It's got, again, kind of the, almost the same yeah. same uh, setup as that last uh, National Treasure card we, made, we showed off. That's numbered out of 25, number one out of 25. I it's believe. On card, yeah, yeah it's on card. Yeah. These next two are the same exact card, but um, they are and they're not because they're. I think they're serial numbered a little different. <laughs> um, this is from Tops. Yeah, Tops Inception. Three color patch. It is a sticker auto, but that's numbered out of seventy five. Number one out of seventy five. And again, Tops Inception. This one's numbered out of 399. And this one's the number 82 out of 399. <laughs> and this last card is kind of the cream of the crop of my uh, Kyle Rudolph. This is a, uh, it's called. 2011 Finest Moments Autographs, Super Fractor. Ooh. Numbered, uh, obviously, one out of one. And it's got a Jim Mint grade and a 10 on the auto. Wow. I actually had to be talked into buying that card from, from the seller. Really? Yeah. It was, uh, you know, my buddy from Fargo that I used oh, to yeah. buy a ton of cards from. I think he... In order to talk me into it, his, the price dropped on it. So wow, yeah, yeah. And now I'm I'm happy. I'm like, dude, I don't really collect <laughs> Kyle Rudolph. And he's like, how about you know, I would buy. Um, I'd get I'd get big uh, uh, flat rate shipping boxes of cards from him back in the I day. I remember, <laughs> and it was you know several hundred dollar orders, and yeah, he always. Uh, you know, he'd send me pictures and pictures and pictures of Vikings cards and I'd buy them all from him for, for hundreds of dollars. And yeah, that one squeaked in one of those orders and now I'm glad that I've, <laughs> I've got it. Yeah. It's really nice, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny when you, uh, don't collect one and a card like that comes up and you're like, nah, I don't really want it. <laughs> yeah. I know. Not, not in your thing, but man. Yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, like, like I said, Kyle, Kyle has definitely grown on me and he's definitely one of, one of my favorites on the team. Awesome. Well, I think that'll bring episode 157 Wednesday. Wow. Kyle Rudolph to a close, huh? Skull brothers out.